What you say is what you see, and what you see is what you have said. Your life is a responsive entity which gives you a breaded increase, whatever you have given to it. You cannot speak light, and it will give you darkness. Neither will you speak night, and it will give you a day. What you speak into your life is what you receive as an output. The first work to be done on earth is the spoken word. The word of the Lord said in the book of Genesis 1, verse 3 through 6. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. 4. And God saw that the light was good, suitable, pleasant, and he approved it. And God separated the light from the darkness. 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning one day. 6. And God said, Let there be a firmament, the expanse of the sky in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters below from the waters above. You may be familiar with the things, but you may not know the mystery in the operation of the things that were made. What God wants to see is what he spoke out. God imagines something that will shine and take away darkness and make the earth beautiful and brighten. And from the abundance of his thoughts and imagination, he then called forth what he wanted to see. Then he said, let there be light. And you know what? The light came into being. That is the mystery that was not open to many in life. And whatever you want to see in your life, whatever you want to happen in your life is what you speak. The reason you see failure and defeat in your life, career and family is because you have not spoken success. You have not spoken victory and you have not spoken progress. Have you learned it now that whatever you want to see is what you speak? Now, can you see it in the form? If you are in your house with your family and you want to see a member of the family probably in the other part of the house, what you will do is to call the person because you want the person to come to you and what you are expecting is the response from that person you have called to come right. That is how the whole thing is programmed for a human being on earth. You must speak it and expect it to come to you because the power of life and death has been programmed to be in the tongue and the tongue is the powerhouse of what you say. Now the question you have got to ask yourself is what do you want to see in your life? How do you want your life to be in the next few years? That pain or situation that is posing as a threat to your life? That job and that deal you have been chasing for a long time and it seems not to be coming to you. Do you want them or not? The show and the possibility of power are in the activities of the tongues and the word you speak. Today God is telling you to keep speaking the blessings and victories into your life. When God speaks his intentions to you, when God tells you that he will bless you and deliver you from that situation and condition. It is not alone to hear it. You have to believe it and begin to speak it into your life to become your reality. It was on the wisdom that Mary, the mother of Jesus, acted when the angel informed her what will happen to her and how she will bear a child through the Holy Spirit of God. And her response was amazing. Luke 1 verse 30 And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found grace free, spontaneous, absolute favor and loving kindness with God. 31 And listen, you will become pregnant and will give birth to a son and you shall call his name Jesus. 32. He will be great, eminent, and will be called the Son of the Most High. 
and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his forefather David. 37. For with God nothing is ever impossible, and no word from God shall be without power or impossible of fulfillment. 38. Then Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaiden of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to what you have said. And the angel left her. You have to speak. You have to keep speaking. You must not stop speaking into your life, the blessing, the victory in the day of trouble and trial, because your weapon of war is in your word, and the power of the blessing, the power of life and victory is in your spoken words that proceed from your mouth. Have you not heard that God said what he hears from you is what he is going to do for you? Have you not heard that God said, whatever you speak, he shall cause it to be established? The reason things are not working for you is just because you have not been speaking, because you think everything will happen by itself and natural evolution. No, it does not happen like that. You have a role in the blessing that you want to have in your life. You have a role to play in that victorious life that you want to live. Listen and know that it is God that is going to do it for you. But you have to partner with God to do it for you. You cannot expect God to do it when you have not given God the chance and the full charge in your life. It is only when you invite God into the situation that he will come in and change the condition for you. While Jesus and his disciples were sailing on the sea, there came a storm to sweep them off. The disciples were terrified and had lost faith, but Jesus was in the same boat sleeping and they called on him. Jesus stood and spoke to the wind and the storm stopped. That is the dynamics of the spoken word. That devil is still terrifying you because you have not confronted him by the word. Your life is still in that lack because you have not spoken the word of abundance into your life. Have you not heard that you have received his fullness so if God is rich, then you are rich. If God is a blessed God, then you are blessed. That is how you will gain the victory. That is how you will call the blessing to come to you. Speak what you want to see. You want to get to that top. Speak yourself into the top. You say, I belong to the top. I am moving higher and I am getting to the top. Nothing is stopping me from getting to the top. You speak persistently and consistently with convictions that you know what you are saying. You do not speak with doubt, you do not speak with fear, and you speak with boldness and power. The words you speak into your life are the seeds you plant into your life they will always germinate to because of the reality of your life. When the things you want are not coming, do not be discouraged. When you are in a difficult situation and it seems all hope and faith are drained, you have to understand that you do not have to relent. Keep speaking into your life. You have to be positive in your words. God is waiting for you to say something God has prepared the blessings for you, but you are not getting it because you have not prepared yourself for the blessings. Speak it out, out of the abundance that God has planted into you. God is expecting you to speak them to work for you. You may not speak and it will remain dormant in you. You have the blessing from the beginning when after that God created man, he gave man the blessings and the power and authority to inherit the earth and dominate it and control its affairs. 
Your life is like an empty land with lots of natural potentials in it. The words you speak are the seeds you plant into your life and when they grow and manifest, they will be a blessing to you. If you do not sow the seed of positive and blessed words into your life, something will happen. Because life has not been made to be vacuum, it must be occupied by something. So if you are not speaking and sowing, then the enemy will come and sow into your life those afflictions that will trouble and terrorize your life and threaten your faith. The blessings are in you. Everything you want, God is giving them to you. All the power and the resources you need are all available for your use and consumption. You will only have to access them when you speak them to come and manifest in your life. When doors are closed against you, speak to the door to open to you. Doors of academic success, doors of marriage and marital bliss, doors of success and prosperity in all you do. When you speak to them, you command them to open and the will respond to your commands because you are powerful and your words are powerful.